What's happening, people, and welcome to our podcast, where we step outside the box and talk about atypical topics from growing minds. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Rainy. And we are your host. Welcome to our show. Microphone check. Microphone check. One, two. Two, one. What's up, everybody? We're back, and today it's going to be interesting. I am going to interview Rainy. And then she's going to interview me at the exact same time. So we're doing a special because we got shit to do because we are parents. I'm washing dishes. Washing dishes. <laughs> While I sit here with a microphone. Yes, this is how we multitask content creators. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very girly. I love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to interview each other. Simple questions. Things that people may not know that we'll get to it you know yeah goldfish that's right what's your favorite color i like i love yellow what's your favorite color yellow (laughs) just kidding but i i did like yellow and pink but now pink's not necessarily like deep enough so i think i'm getting on the purple bandwagon but like specific purple you know interesting yeah what about you my favorite colors i'm so glad you ask black black's not a color i know i hate it when people say that so uh red and then green red and green Um, yeah i like christmas i'm a big uh nightmare for christmas fan there you go i think that's like black and purple hey so what's your favorite movie like childhood movie something iconic for you Donnie Darko. No. No. Half baked. What? No. Uh, that's mine. I didn't watch that as a child. <laughs> I did. I don't know. I've never been a movie person. I prefer series. Well, what's your favorite series from back in the day? Nothing new, relevant, fresh. Back in the day. Why? Because the nobody cares stupid. about relevant and fresh. Of course they do. <laughs> okay. Back in the day is dumb. Because, uh, because what? Go on. Because you don't, you don't, you've never thought about your favorites as an adult. I don't have any. Really? What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time. No. What's your favorite movie right now? Right. Shit. I don't know. Probably something like Free Guy, right? No. Really? Hell no. That's like a. It, it's good. It's a movie theater movie, but it's like I wouldn't watch it again. I. We've seen it like 12 times. I've seen it like twice in pieces. I like it and Uncharted. See, those are whack. See, that's mainstream whackness. Why? What about like the Die Hard series? That's dumb. What about like uh, Waterworld? What's that? Oh my goodness. What about Escape from LA or Escape from New York? Never seen it. Okay. What about the Twilight Sagas? <laughs> I had to do some editing. I went full Joe Rogan. All right. <laughs> so, okay. um, so, favorite movies. You heard them. So, what's your favorite genre of music? Pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Alternative rock. I like that. That's a really good choice. I was going to go with, like, pop punk. But, yeah, I think alternative rock no. would be the best. I mean, pop punk is your favorite. Right R-N. now. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, she said R-N. You, you people. (laughs) Right now isn't that long of a word. (laughs) It's one word. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so next simple question. Okay. You could have one vehicle in the world, what would it be? It's a stupid question. Why? Because there's so many different hands or butts about it. One. Right now? Yeah. I don't have a good answer, so... I do, I do. Hold on. I'm thinking. A Toyota Highlander. A Highlander? I was going to say a Forerunner. Yeah, I know. That's what you want. Yeah, so those are our dream vehicles, just so you guys know. With Toyotas, because they last. 98 refurbished. 98 refurbished, definitely. That's what we want. Or just brand new 98. That would be perfect. Like, just an old factory somewhere. I would like their cars. (laughs) It's probably true. All right, next question. Um, how tall are you? Five foot seven and a half. You're not supposed to say the half. Now I look short. How tall are you, babe? Five twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I am five nine with sh- <laughs> with, with shoes. <laughs> 
I'm five nine with shoes. Yeah, I'm a giant, bro. He's five eight and a half. No, <laughs> don't. <laughs> That's how tall lanky boxes. <laughs> now, now I feel short. <laughs> no, now I feel short. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not a tall guy. I'm a very me medium build kind of person. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> hilarious. Um. What you want to you want to question me? Yeah. What's your question? Holy what, hell! What's your favorite chore to do? My favorite chore. Yeah. I like this question. My favorite chore is probably my favorite chore. I'm, I was gonna go with laundry, but I think trash. Trash is a really satisfying tour chore to get. You know, get all this. Yeah, we have we have like freaking eight trash cans in this house, and I take them out all the time. What's your favorite chore? I like to do the dishes. Do you really? Yeah, that's disgusting. It just takes the motivation to do it, and not podcasting. I like to listen to music and zone out while washing dishes. No, this time I'm here to entertain you. Yes. Yes, it's like super annoying, right? Uh I got some more questions for you. What's your favorite animal? A cat. Agreed. Cats. Hug life. Let's see. What is your favorite food dish? Food dish? One. Sushi. Sushi. That's cool. Yeah. I'm going to go with tacos. Yeah. Yeah, I love me some spicy food. What's your favorite color pattern of a cat? What? Obviously a gray tabby because no, Iggy's the best. <laughs> uh, favorite color cat? You know, ever since I was little, it was black cats. Black, yeah. That black makes cats. Sense. I've always had a thing for black. Anytime I saw a black kitten, I brought it home. <laughs> I like orange cats. Yep. Well, yep. When I met you, you came with an orange cat. Yeah. <laughs> but I like white cats too. Like Indy's really pretty. She's super pretty. It's like rare. I feel. Yeah. Like I just like those Siamese colors. But yes, I like orange cats. Indy's in my in my live video for today. Is she? Yeah. She climbed up on my back. <laughs> Did you make her climb up? Well, yeah, for the picture. <laughs> um, what's your favorite dog breed? Favorite dog breed? Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the uh, border collie. Have you had experience with one? Yes, Jaws was a border collie, Snoopy's brother. Oh, okay. Um, they're very smart wise, dogs. Yeah. I think I like greyhounds, but ew, they have ugliest faces. Oh, they're so sweet, but <laughs> they're so big. And I like small dogs, too, so I don't know. Right, big dogs come with health issues and stuff. I like corgis. I think they're cute. A what? Cordy? A corgi. Oh, okay. Like that little dog over there. Reno! The... Yeah, yeah, Reno. I like Reno. Yeah, okay, okay. <clears throat> um, I listen really well. If you had unlimited resources, okay. how many days a week would you work? Two. Two? That's your honest answer. Okay. And and that's one's not enough for me. If I didn't have kids, it would be two. <laughs> but since I have kids, none is just fine. None is just fine. <laughs> I guess it depends on the job. That's true too. It always depends on the job. Like if I gotta shake my booty, I'll do that. But but I don't wanna be working construction again. Fuck that. I'll shake my booty. Yeah, Feet photos, here they come. Ben's really good at shaking his booty. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> she spilled water on herself. <laughs> Making comments because I don't have a booty. She's talking shit. <laughs> so, uh, what's your favorite... What What is, uh, one thing on your bucket list that you have to make sure you complete? Before I die? Yeah. Before you're 40. Before I'm 40? Yeah. <laughs> it's not very long. <laughs> I don't... Um, I just to raise my kids until they're gone, you know, I don't really have a bucket list. I'm going to go skydiving. You're going to go skydiving. Good for you. Wow. So cool. Clap, clap. <laughs> just yeah. kidding. That is cool. I love your answer. I want to take a trip to Mexico. Mexico? 
That'd be kind of cool to go like deep into Mexico. Yeah, like a like an actual trip. Right, like stay in like a like a beachside hotel kind of thing. Yeah, no, not even on the beach, like the center of Mexico, like Mexico City. Ooh, okay. Yeah. You just really indulge in their experiences. Yeah, exactly. Go to some museums or something. That would be really cool. I'd like to look at it from a different standpoint. Yeah. Like from the inside looking in, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hot topics and even hotter wings. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I stole that. <laughs> um, yeah. Favorite musical artist of all time? All time? Aerosmith, right? Nothing more. What? No Steven Tyler? What? Steven Tyler? No. Oh, okay. What about you? We, I just said Aerosmith. That's not your favorite. Definitely. Between him and Seal. And like... I'm not talking about childhood nostalgia. What are we talking about? Lyrically. Like musically. That Have you not you heard their music? Oh, okay. So more relevant to the time I'm thinking you're thinking. Yeah, not when you were eight. I felt a lot of emotions when I was eight, okay? <laughs> I had a lot of emotions when I was eight. <laughs> uh, favorite lyrical artist right now? That's that's a toss-up. I got a few. would be a cop-out. Yeah, no, I was going to go with Chris Webby. Chris Webby, lyrically, he kind of knows his shit, but he's too political for me, so... Yeah, eh. Tom McDonald would have been the answer before that, but I know you hate that because <laughs> he, he's just a he's got some woke shit, but it's all repetitive, so it's getting old. He, he's yeah, he's whatever, partial woke. No, he's not. Whatever. He's he speaks. He, he speaks for the people. No, he's Canadian and he has no right to speak for the people. Really? Yeah. Like his song "White Boy," you feel that was wrong for him to put out? Yeah, I do. You don't think there's that many? Uh, we started experiencing it. When he moved to America? Once he got famous. Interesting. Interesting. You know, because he didn't move to America until he was an adult. I know. Exactly. So it's like... I was just going to say, because I, I really relate to this song, White Boy, but, like, I don't see how he could have. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but that'd just be me. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, back to the interview. <laughs> what sound is this? A morning <laughs> <laughs> is that like a dove honoring its dead parents? Or? Uh, it's those doves that go that they do that in the morning. <laughs> that's funny. Usually like 5 a.m. But it is the sad type of morning. Resident. Who's your favorite actor? Right now. Right now? Right now. Fucking Spider-Man, right? <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, yes. I was going to say that. He's my favorite actor right now. I love that guy. His personality is everything. Right? I love Tom Holland. Tom Holland, he's, uh, he's adorable. Right? <laughs> he's adorable. <laughs> I like when he I get plays the kid brother feeling American, from him, you know? I like when he plays American characters because he looks un-American doing it and that's what I think makes it so funny like he's obviously not American and he's just a genius and he's so funny yeah hmm <laughs> okay let's see weapon of choice for the apocalypse come on what kind of apocalypse just the government's gone <laughs> And and uh, people are landing in parachutes and uh, and they eat people. So the apocalypse. Um, like real weapons? I mean, it's up to you. Because I would use a goo gun with unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Fortnite. <laughs> a goo gun. All right, you guys heard it from her. A goo gun. Something that shoots hot lava at people and then explodes after a minute. <laughs> yes, that's what she would use. <laughs> Is that what everybody would use? <laughs> yes. Realistically, yes, I love it. I would go with a bow. Bow and arrow. I don't even know how to shoot. I would bow. learn, motherfucker. <laughs> I would get a bow. You'd be good at, not something that you think would be cool. And a long sword. No, I don't think it'd be cool. It has unlimited ammo. Oh, it does. Yes, it does. You go pick up your bow. You can't pick up your bullet. I okay. mean your arrow, you know Whatever. what I mean? You know what um, I mean? You pull it out. 
the kill and then you, you reuse it on another kill. <laughs> We're talking about man eating people. I know. Okay? But well, you're allowed to shoot them with arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's your favorite day of the week? Uh, I don't have one. What's yours? I don't live by schedule or uh, time. I'm talking about like routine wise in your life. Again, I don't have one. All of my days seem exactly the same. Um. Routine wise, I always do the same shit every day. I'm so boring. I like Mon. I like Sunday and Monday. Why? Well, because Sunday it's my last day. It's your Friday, yeah. And then Mondays. I to not work the next day. Your, exactly. So you hate work. That man. Yeah, that's no. That's general said, America. That's yeah. Why I said Sunday's my favorite day too. Because I get to put all my last energy into making my job good before the next week. Hmm. Okay. Give it your all, you know, because you won't be there tomorrow. Yeah, I do that every day. Yeah. I don't know if I have that kind of energy. Well. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Oh, I like that question. Do you have an answer for that already? Nope, I'm asking you. All right. Um, favorite thing that I like about me. Right? Yeah. My sense of humor. Yeah, you funny. I, I like my sense of humor. Right? I think more people should lighten up. Yep. That's all. What about you? What's your favorite part about you? Um, recently, how easy it's been to be, like, myself, I guess. Like, uh, the inability to be yourself. My extrovertedness. So you enjoy the fact that you are able to always be yourself? Yeah, but I like loudly. Like I like that I'm extroverted. Like those dishes, yeah. And I'm just standing here watching her. This is the worst part. No, but she had a schedule change. Rainy had a schedule change to make way for life, you know. And so we're, we have to we have to make enough podcasts. So <laughs> we're, we're we're doing we're multitasking here. Yep. But I like your question. That was a really good question. Sounds like you got distracted from all the dishes. I did. <laughs> uh, I did. I sure did. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about Mogwai? My favorite thing about Mogwai, yeah. the Gremlins, the movie? Do, we're going to do all of them. The movie? Yep. No. <laughs> Uh, Mogwai is our cat. He's big and he's orange, and I love him the most because he is. No, I don't love him the most. <laughs> I love what I love most about him is that he is the king, and he knows it. He's like the hierarchy, and he he just he's chill. That's what I love about I him. Like he's so he's chill. Like big and tough, but he spoons with me every night. <laughs> he's a spooner. He's so cuddly. He's big and fluffy too. Yeah. Okay. What about who's next oldest? Next oldest would have yeah. been an Iggy first. I know, but she goes last. Okay. <laughs> I know that one. You'll have a lot. So, Whatever. Indy. And then we got Indy. Indica, our beautiful white kitty who is going to be famous one day. She has her own TikTok. Yep. Because she is, uh, what is it called? Neurodivergent. Neurodivergent. That's right. And she is precious. Aren't you? She could say hi right now. There, I had her say hi. My favorite thing about Indy is she's precious. I love... What does that do for you? She pre it's like looking into a big beady-eyed animal and you just want to like squeeze it. She looks like that all the time and she's getting older, you know? How old is she? Six and a half. Oh, okay. So she's still, yeah, really, really, really cute. And she's short. She's short for a cat. Yeah, she's a little... Bit. She's a little, little dwarfy. All right, what about Batman? Well, you gotta tell me what you love about Indy. Oh, my favorite thing is that she, you can always count on her to want to jump on your back. Yeah, randomly, yep. you can count on it. If you turn your back you to that cat, out with her. She doesn't even care. She's yeah, she sleeps on her head every night. She's awesome. Okay, so Batman, what's your favorite thing about Batman? Yeah, you go first. Well, okay, my favorite thing about Batman is that he's a black cat. Wow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, he's shallow. he's a sweetheart. He's the sweetest boy, right? Yeah. And he's huge. He's like Mog, but like the younger version. So he's a little more fit, but he's 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 long. He's a big cat. I Batman love I love I, that he's big and gentle. Batman and I have a very special connection, and I feel like 
I always know what he needs. And he That's right, very, you saved his ass. He's very good at communicating with me, and he's very sweet and just really takes the time out of the day to come get love. Yeah, Batman. You can count on Batman to come get his loving when he. Bravo. He's... <laughs> what? Do you want to go first? <laughs> Bravo has a huge personality. He's a huge talker. He always has things to say, and he he trusts me with everything. So I love how uh, vulnerable he is for me. Yeah, for her, she said it. Bravo for me. He's terrified of me. He, he's he's uh. He's kind of a dick. He picks on Indy. He's a um, baby. <laughs> he's terrified of me, and I've never done anything bad ever to him. Right? It's just I'm I'm erratic. I move too much, and he's he's uh what is that timid? Yeah. yeah he's you you walk up too fast, and he's gone like a dart. You know. <laughs> All right, now Iggy. N- no, what? I guess you don't have a favorite thing about Bravo. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite thing about Bravo is that he's very fluffy. He looks like a squirrel. He's very adorable. <laughs> All right. And Iggy. Da-da-da-dum! Iggy is my cat of 18 years, give or take. 17. 17, yeah. So she's been in my life she's a awesome. long time. Iggy is emotionally responsive. That's my favorite yes. thing about her. She's very if I pathetic. if I have emotions, that girl is, you know, rubbing her chin oh, on no. me. She's so good at it. I she love knows. How independent she is. She's always been really independent. That's true. She's what just outside meatball? right now doing her own thing. <laughs> My favorite thing about meatball? Yeah. What? Why are you, why are you dancing? <laughs> are you excited to talk about no. meatball? Oh, uh, what about meatball? <laughs> My favorite thing about meatball is the fact that he um, looks at me as his king. And he don't care about anything else. And I've never done anything to deserve that. So it's like... How he just kind of like stays out of the way and doesn't require much attention. He and is really good with the kids. Does not stay out of the way. He lays... Anywhere in a walkway. Yeah. I think we this is a good one. I'm done doing the dishes. <laughs> yeah. This was Dishes with Rainy and Ben. Dishes with Rainy and Ben interviews. Wow. Peace. Peace.